Okay, I'm doing something I have not done in a very long time, and that is going to a meeting. Yes. Uh, for those of you that have been watching for a long time, know that I go to these meetings that like are that deal with my sobriety. If you don't know what that is, God, that's really annoying. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just listen, just watch this full video. I'm gonna like go into detail about it because I haven't went into detail about it in a really long time, and I think I want to like I don't know. I think I should. So for those that don't know what I mean when I say meetings, I used to have a drug and alcohol problem seven years ago. As a result of doing these meetings, I have been sober from drugs and alcohol for seven years. And within the last couple months, since this whole, um, since me moving out of the apartment, living with Jessica and getting my own place, I haven't really been to a meeting. And it's, um, it's just been like, a separation from me and a certain side of myself that like works on me and my character internally and I haven't been doing that the last couple months so I mean it it may or may not have had an effect on me but I do know that if when I when I don't work on myself internally um, I tend to get frustrated pretty easily things just tend to become very like I just get unhappy kind of and it's over really dumb little things that are really minuscule and don't really matter. I've had periods like this before when I'm, you know, away from working on myself. And I mean, there's always roadblocks and uh, obstacles that appear in people's lives that, you know, you have to get through. So it's, I mean, for the most part, I think it's pretty normal, but um, it's important for me to always recognize that because um, when I start to get unhappy and when I start to get restless and like frustrated, um, things just start to not go very well in my life. And I'm not trying to be preachy or anything either. I'm just kind of telling you guys like what's been going on and what's going on. I know that this is like, you know, you see these videos every day, every other day, and you know, it, it's it's never like an overnight shift when I talk about this kind of stuff. So it's like, it's like a process that I'm going through. And I don't want like to come across, I don't want it to come across that I'm some perfect person or not I don't think it does I'm just saying I'm just saying that for the record you don't want people to get the idea that like from from this video on out like it's just gonna be like they like like to expect perfection the meeting that I was just in you know you get all kinds of people that go in there you get people who are homeless like ex gang members and it's you know you just hear a lot of crazy stuff and that's why I'm that's why I really hate the whole like drug and alcohol thing that's huge in society like that's why I have such a like you know, to, to each his own, like, you know, that's kind of like my issue is like, I'm the person that can't handle myself when I'm drinking and doing drugs recreationally or not. I just can't, I can't handle myself. So like no judgment passed on anybody who can handle themselves. Like, you know, that's, that's great. I wish that I could. Um, but a lot of this, a lot of this stuff is very, a lot of partying and drinking and drugging, especially excessively, is very romanticized and it's romanticized to get as lit and uh, f***ed up as humanly possible. I don't think people really understand the ramifications of where that can take you. I don't know if you guys remember this spot or not, but I was here like uh, six, seven, eight months ago with John and I actually brought Joanne here and she pulled me while I did a feeble on the slap art. But we're back here. I don't think I'm gonna skate. I'm probably gonna try to do an ollie and see if it works because I can roll around. My ankle is feeling a little better. We got a mani pad here. So I don't know, I might be able to do some like dorking around. Mostly I'm gonna try to shoot photos of Tanner and Brian for uh, the new zine and video that Brian's coming out with and also for my new zine that I'll be coming out with uh, early spring. I'm just out because I had to leave my house because I was starting to get really depressed staying inside. Tanner has an extra ankle brace that he's gonna let me use for the day. Tanner has bad ankles too. Um, but I'm gonna try and wear this so I can do some manuals. This is a step in the right direction. I never do stuff like this. I never protect myself the way I should. That goes through a lot of areas in my life. Tanner, how does this work? Oh, you have to put it through? Till your toe stick is out stressing me out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, yeah. It hurts all the way up here. Oh, God, dude. Does it hurt? I just can't roll it. It's a good thing. How am I gonna haul it? Okay, it doesn't, it's not holding the right now. You ollied! Still got a clip! That's all we're gonna be doing today. It kinda 
kind of hurts when I put like land on it a little bit. That does not count, dude. Broken ass ankle. We can, we can skate a little bit, just a little bit. We're not gonna push it though. So that's probably all the skating you're gonna see on my channel for about a week. Just really basic, easy stuff for me that I don't have to really try too hard to do, which is feebles, essentially, and like manuals and just really easy, basic tricks. That's gonna help me get my ankle feeling better because it's kind of like self-physical therapy, like I mentioned earlier. I've rolled my ankle so many times that, um, just like this here. Oh, oh my I've done this so many times uh, since I was 10 years old that that's actually why you don't see me do a lot of flip tricks because a lot of the times I would roll my ankle and then like when my ankle wasn't done healing I, I couldn't resist skating so I would just start skating rails and do tricks where I didn't really have to like flick my ankle which is you know kick flips that's why I didn't learn a lot of the flip tricks and I just went straight to jumping down rails because it was easier and I could actually skate because my ankles were always rolled. I've rolled this same ankle, the one that, the, my left one, like probably a total of 10 times, just this bad too, if not worse than this. I mean, yeah, that's why I don't do a lot of flip tricks. I don't think it shoots in 4K. This one shoots in 4K, but I don't even use the 4K because it's like too much. Adds weight to you. It adds weight. I'm filming Brian again today. Since my ankles rolled, I'm not gonna really be doing a whole lot of crazy skating. I'm, I mean, I did a couple warm-up tricks as you guys saw earlier. Brian, can I take this footage from you? Sure. All right. You want to do a couple easy lines that I can put in my vlog, like a manual board slide? Sure. All right. Yeah, you're not going to be mad at me, are you? Look at the shadow of the mic just like on my face. Earlier today, Brian specifically told me to not get mad if I come out and skate today, which I can't even skate. He forgot that. But now he's getting mad. Oh, oh, Dale. Dale. What? Did you see that? No. I was on my toes the whole time. Nuh uh. Watch it back. No way. Dang. Dang. You gotta keep it low for Brian. He's such a picky person. He's such a picky eater. Let's get prickers. Under my nail. <laughs> Megan, swipe right. All right, before we go, I want to talk a little bit more about what I was talking about earlier, about my sobriety and about my problem with addiction. Now, the reason I want to talk about this specifically is because, you know, times during my life when I go through periods where I'm not actively working on myself internally, uh, I do notice a difference. Like I've stated, like I sense, I get the sense that I'm like, you know, unhappy and I'm irritable and I'm kind of restless and it just shows in other areas of my life. And the only way that I was able to like overcome something like this was with other people. I wasn't able to do it by myself and I had to just, I had to accept the help that was being given to me and like realize that, that I did have like an issue and I needed help with it and like just that I couldn't do it alone and that there was internal work on myself that I did need to do to make myself a better person so I didn't feel the need to 
medicate myself with substances and with alcohol. And once I realized that, I was able to accept it and I was able to move forward and find an actual solution to the problem that I was experiencing. I just wanted to talk about this because I thought I think maybe it could have helped somebody if anyone's going through the same thing. You know, whenever I get like DMs about stuff like this or messages, I always try to respond because this is something that's really important to me. And I know there's a lot of people out there who do struggle with this sort of thing. You know, it's tough and it can be pretty hard and it's like, it's serious. I'm gonna put some like links in the description for you know, hotlines and places that you can call or go if anybody's experiencing any kind of struggle with this sort of thing. Or you can, you know, DM me and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Um, I'm probably gonna get a flood of DMs now that I said that. But I don't know, I hope that this topic was helpful for somebody and I hope you guys can pull something away from it. I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the skating. And before we go, you guys, I do wanna remind you, for those that are interested, Issue 3 t-shirts are now live on my website along with the I Told You 8 long sleeves. Look, it's Teresa, she's beautiful. Let's not deny that. So if you are interested, link is in the description. Goodbye. I told you 8! Oh my god. I am the one, the one, your son, the Dale, you know how to do this better than I do, right? Tell the truth.